Hi everybody, it's Tammy with stampwithtammy.com and I have a super easy card for you this morning for my five minute video. Um, we're going to use the Planted Paradise stamp set. It's really cool, you use, um, if you turn the stamp upside down or backwards on the stamp block, you can do a solid image. Um, anyway, so this is the card we're gonna make. Let's get started. I want to see if I can actually do this in five minutes or less. So we're going to do old olive card stock, eight and a half by five and a half. Score at four and a quarter. We have Cajun Craze. This one is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Piece of basic white card stock, two, I'm sorry, three and three quarters by five. Another Cajun Craze two and seven eighths by two and an eighth. And don't worry, these will all be posted down below. And then for my first image, we're gonna use the basic white and it's two and three quarters by two. So we're going to use Old Olive ink and Cajun Craze Classic ink. To start with, we're gonna stamp the little pot and just stamp right because these are clear stamps, photopolymer stamps, we can see through. So we don't really need to mask off, although you could. I'm just gonna stamp the three leaves. How easy is that? Now for the background, we're gonna make our own background paper. There isn't any that coordinates with this stamp set, so we're gonna do our own. And I'm using two more images, the little butterfly and a little single leaf. You're just gonna stamp all over the background. When you're doing this, go ahead and make sure you turn your stamp so that they don't all look the same. Oops. Just like that. And we're gonna use the butterfly and Cajun craze and then just fill in. These two images are pretty much the same size, but if you're making your own, it's easiest, well, I find it's easier to start with a larger, the largest image that you're using and work your way down to the smallest image. There you have that. I know I messed that one up, but I'm gonna cover it anyway. So now it's just a matter, oh, let me put these away so I don't stick my cardstock in them. You guys know me. So we're just gonna put this all together. Actually, I'm gonna wipe this off real quick so I don't get that ink everywhere. And I'm just using Stamp and Seal for this card. Um, I've had some questions about what my favorite adhesive is. I don't really, well, I would probably say Stampin' Dimensionals because I seem to use those on every card. But uh, sometimes I use the Stamp and Seal and sometimes I use the liquid glue for my main things. Um, the Stamp and Seal Plus is really good for boxes and things that you really need to, you need it to stick. But I find the seal works really well. Of course, I am in a dry climate. My upline is in Ohio and they use liquid glue a lot more just because of the humidity there. Okay, then I'm gonna pop this up on Stampin' Dimensionals. One in each corner is fine. Just take those off. You can use your take uh, pick me up tool if you can't get them off. I'm just gonna put that in the middle. And then I'm gonna use the pick me tool. And these are adhesive back sparkle gems. And I'm just gonna add three of the clear ones for a little bit of sparkle. One. Oops. Just like that. And there you have the two cards. Thank you so much. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate all your support and leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thank you. Have a great day.